Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Car Rental System. So without much delay, we'll look at the requirements of this code. Firstly, an IDE or an integrated development environment is required for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system is required. Again, it depends on you which operating system you want to work on. The recommended ones being Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now we'll be moving at the actual code part. Here we have the standard lines that is include IOStream, Kony.h and stdlib.h. Then we have the basic line using namespace std. Then we have a structure named cars where we have the company, model, co color and max speed of the certain cars. Like in company, we have Maruti Suzuki, Volkswagen, BMW, Audi, Kia, Tesla, Mercedes, Mahindra and Tata. Accordingly, we have their series that is the model. Then we have their particular color which is available at the max speed of the car. Then we have an array, integer array named price which has the, the price limit of the car, then the date, the manufacturing date. Then we have a lease info structure where it consists the arrays like the name array, the mission ID, the payment account. All these uh, arrays are under the struct, struct lease info. Then let's look at the first output that is a menu function. Here in the menu function, we have a loop running from i is equal to 0 to i is less than 9. Then it asks us to enter the number to select the car company, which we want to select. Then in the second output, we have the details function where we take a parameter of int choice. Then it says you have selected this car. The model is this, the color is this, the maximum speed is this, and the price is this. So accordingly, according to the array, all those stuff will be displayed. Then uh, there is a function for the check lease credit. Again, we have an input here int k, which is a parameter which has been in initialized through other function. Then it says the process has been done successfully if the, if the, that is available or else it displays, no, sorry, the option is not available. Then we have a user input function. Here it asks us to enter the value or the de personal details of the person who is interested in buying the car then it says note provide first name only do not enter space while providing in this is actually the terms and conditions for entering your name then it says payment won't proceed if the given amount exceeds this particular amount then it asks you to enter your name your nation national id or your id proof then the payment amount after which you go to the main function this is the function from which the execution starts actually here it calls the login function first and if you select yes then the simple car rental system this is displayed and it asks us to enter it says welcome to our company choose from the menu then you are uh, asked to enter your particular choice and if you are sure you want to check this or rent this car if yes no or exit after which it asks you to enter again do you want to continue if yes press yes or else no so after which uh, the decision value, the decision uh, variable it actually it stores the particular value that is either yes or no. Then we have this login function. Here it says a uh, sunshine car rental system login and it asks us to enter the password. So after entering the password, the password is pass that is PSS. It says access granted. Welcome to our system. Or else it displays the access has been denied or abrupted. You have to try again. So this was our login function and uh, the end of the code as well. I hope you understood the working of this. The explanation is quite clear to you. Now we'll be moving at the actual code part and I'll run this code and I'll show you. This is actually the whole code. Now let me run this. So whatever I explained to you, we are going to have a practical of this. So it, see, it displays sunshine car rental system login and you have to enter the password. My password is pass. So I entered. It says access granted. Welcome to our system. So I entered. So which car do I want to go for? I want to go for say Mercedes. So I press here 7. So, so this is the model which is available. Pinch, black, speed is this and price is this. So 
do you want to continue? I say yes. So I press here yes. So it asks me to enter my name. I enter my name, my national ID, my payment amount. So the process has been done. Yeah, I want to continue again. So I have uh, I have already selected Mercedes. Now let me go for Audi. I press F4. Then this is what the Audi is R8 Brown. The speed is 250 km per hour and the price is 40,000 for rental. So I want to go for it. Yeah, my name is Simran. Let me say national ID is 1234. My amount is 40,000. I paid it. So the process has been done. Now I don't want to go for anything. So I press here. So this is what about the car rental system. You can rent it. You can use it as per your choice. And you can also see the details. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting ideas, subscribe to our channel. And have a great day. Thank you.